Welcome back, dear viewers. We've been joined here in the series of Hala Kuwait with our special guest, Sara Al Awadi from Care Kuwait Volunteer. Hello and welcome, Sara. Hi, thank you for having me. You're most welcome. So, how are you doing so far? I'm, I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. So, Sara, you are a volunteer at uh, Care Kuwait. Yes. So, could you please tell us about the group achievement and goal? Yes, I mean, uh, first of all, the group was established in 2013. Uh, the main goal of it was to raise awareness, it still is, I mean, that's yes. the main goal, uh, to raise awareness in regards to animal rights and welfare, uh, how to take care of them and take responsibility. Uh, after some time, the, the group members at the time noticed that there was no uh, effort or help provided for the animals that are injured or sick. So it became also a, a rescue group and rescue and adoption group as well. Yes, I've noticed even in your Instagram account, uh, you found a lot of uh, lost uh, pets sometimes and you help them communicate with other people in order to send the message to their owners. So that's very nice as well. Thank you. Yes, we, we post about uh, lost animals as well, uh, but mostly it's uh, animals that need uh, help, whether and, they're uh, sick care. or injured. Yes. Yes. So uh, how many members are a part of this group, Care Kuwait? Uh, I'd say we're about 10 members. Uh, sometimes, you know, some volunteers join uh, temporarily. Sometimes they're students. They need to, you know, take part in a volunteer program for the summer, things like that. Yes. But the main members or the most active members that have been there since the beginning, uh, I would say around seven, yes. And uh, how long would you say that Kuwait, uh, Care Kuwait has been going for since how many years? Uh, well, it was established in 2013, so uh, around... Almost uh, nine years. Yes. Yes. Of course, uh, I applaud you for your great efforts Thank in you. rescuing animals, taking care of them and finding them homes and shelters as well. Thank you. You're most welcome. So uh, could you tell us some of the stories that are more uh, notable that you've been uh, encountered throughout your journey? Yes, of course. I mean, there are many, uh, but uh, one of the most notable ones, at least to me personally, uh, is a dog named Robin. Yes. Uh, he was uh, shot with a fishing hook or a fishing spree uh, in the head, unfortunately. Um, and he, he temporarily lost uh, some of his uh, sight because of it. Uh, of course, it had to be surgically removed. Uh, and um, uh, it's, it's very sad, you know, because it's, this couldn't have been done accidentally or it's, it's not something that like uh, a dog run over by a car or something, yes. you know, it, 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 it was, was done on purpose. Unfortunately, yes. yes. Uh, so at the beginning, it w he was in very bad condition. Uh, but thankfully he recovered and uh, he was uh, adopted in the U.S. and he is now living uh, happily, so we're very happy for him. It's a, it's a very nice ending uh, yes. for the dog Thank and uh, hopefully we won't see any more of these kind of incidents because we know a lot of uh, animals are being tortured and we have to spread awareness more about these kind of issues. Yes. And uh, as a Care Kuwait, I'm sure you faced a lot of challenges. So could you please uh, tell us more about these challenges? Yes. Uh, first of all, I think the main issue is lack of awareness. Uh, a lot of people um, uh, buy animals instead of, you know, there are so many homeless cats and dogs that need homes and therefore adoption. But yes. they, they go to shops and they buy them and they don't even know uh, anything about their health or and they buy them when they're at a young age they're not even vaccinated yet sometimes they're even already sick but it doesn't show until they take them home and uh and they, and they people are attracted to you know kittens puppies uh, yes. pure breeds even though people are not aware that these breeds are actually you know they have a lot of health problems um and people don't do enough research. They don't know uh, what they're getting themselves into. You know, cats and dogs can live up to 10, 15 years, sometimes even more. Yes. And the older they become, the more likely they will, they mo the more likely they are to get sick. Uh, so it's a big responsibility. It's a lifetime commitment. It's, uh, you know, we, we want people to think 
of the cat or the dog as a family member. Of course. Not uh, a toy, you know, you just take pictures with or you have fun with and then the minute they get sick, you abandon yes. them in the street or you try to find someone to adopt them. And, um, of course. Another challenge would be because we don't have a shelter, so the amount of animals that need help uh, is more than the foster homes we, we have. So w there's not enough space. Uh, we, al we are always trying to find new foster homes, uh, more volunteers, um, sponsors for our rescues because uh, you know the the vet the vet. Um, because you usually take a lot of money, I mean, especially yes. with the rescuing animals. Yeah, and uh, sometimes the bills reach a certain point yes. that they refuse to have any more cases admitted. So it's a, uh, it's a bit challenging. Of course, and all uh, all of our dear viewers who are watching at home, please, even when you're thinking about taking care of a pet, you should know that this is a huge responsibility. So they have to really take care of these kind of issues, like vaccinating. Yes and having the proper food for them and not throwing them in the street as soon Absolutely. as they're done with this uh, kind of a picture moment or uh, this kind of need of company and then as soon as they find something better they desert their pet and this is a huge problem yes. so hopefully people watching will pay more attention to this kind of issue Absolutely. and uh, we'd raise more awareness about uh, these animals that are being hurt uh, in the streets of yes. course so, uh, of course, in this huge um, issue that we're facing here in Kuwait, there is a lot of campaigns that have been going around about uh, animal care. So does the Kuwait government help or support animal rights here in Kuwait? Uh, we, there is a law against animal cruelty that was uh, established in 2015. I think it was for all Gulf countries, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, it's not being implemented here. Uh, so, as you can see, even from our Instagram account, a lot of the, the cases we have or the rescues uh, were purposely or intentionally harmed or abused. Yes. And uh, it's sad, but people get away with it. They are not being punished for it. Uh, and uh, also people, when they abandon their, their pets, they are not held accountable because there is no system where, uh, you know, they are... Um, Connected to their owners. Yes, there is no system where the, the owner is obliged to, for example, uh, register the microchip. There is no even, there is nothing that makes them microchip their, their pets. I mean, yes. So uh, I would say all the campaigns or effort is, is pure uh, volunteer work. Hopefully we'll have more support in I this kind so. of uh, field, especially with animal yes. care and uh, help prevent this kind of cruelty that's been going around here in Kuwait. I hope so. So uh, also, um, what kind of animals you took care of or you rescued other than uh, dogs? Uh, it's been mostly cats and dogs, but uh, there were a few exceptions. Uh, we once rescued a horse uh, and a camel. That is very interesting. Uh, and unfortunately, they both didn't make it, but they were still, you know, a Kirkwood uh, rescue case. Uh, I think we, we've had rabbits, maybe ducks, uh, turtles, but mostly cats and dogs. Yes. Because I think th those are the most uh, common or found uh, here in Kuwait. Yes, especially in the streets, wherever you turn around, there is a cat, of yes. course, you notice that. Unfortunately, yes. And um, what do you think are some of the suggested uh, solutions to this kind of issues that we're facing here in Kuwait? I think this uh, this question can be answered on, on two different scales. Uh, the yes. Like I said, the main issue is, is lack of awareness. So we need to raise awareness about uh, animals, what, what you need uh, to be prepared for when you think of adopting a pet. Uh, I, I wish, you know, animal trade would stop and, and people would just... Uh, Adopt these uh, lost pets. Yeah, it, w it would be nice to have all the animal rescue and adoption groups uh, linked together and people can contact them if they want to adopt. They will be interviewed. So it will be a very careful uh, process. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, we need 
laws to be implemented. Uh, the laws that already exist need to be implemented. Yes, uh, people of course. Who, uh, people who abuse animals or abandon their pets need to be held accountable. Uh, unfortunately, we also have an issue here of uh, wildlife trade. There are animals that are endangered or considered wild and they're being sold or owned. You know, we, I think we had a lion uh, a couple of days ago reported walking in the streets. So this needs to be uh, taken more seriously. Of course, I totally agree with you. And hopefully, uh, I'd like to see this idea come to life where all the animal care uh, come together and be linked in one uh, big uh, governmental uh, society. So this is very important. So even as you mentioned, interview is a very huge, important process in uh, animal adoption as well because you need to find the proper home for the pet. Of course. So that is very important. Yes. And we have, you know, we, we take our time asking all the questions that we think the, that need to be asked, uh, just to, you know, get the answers we need and uh, find yes, the right home for the pet. Yes, exactly. yes, of course. And uh, for people who would like to volunteer, so is there something in specific that they need to know, and how can they reach out? Uh, well, we're on social media. We're on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Snapchat. The most active platform is Instagram, so they can contact us. Uh, the username is careq8. I think it's, uh, it might be shown on the screen. Yes. Uh, there are many ways how people can get involved. Um, again, we're a very small group. Uh, we mostly need help with rescue and emergency tasks, our transportation tasks. So, yes. um, I mean, of course, that uh, demands that the person is, is older than 18. They have access to a car and a driver's license. But also anyone, anyone is welcome. And, and even if the person doesn't drive, uh, they can help with some events that we take part in. We have uh, adoption days. Um, we need foster homes. That's another way how people can get involved. Uh, yes, to, to of course. Fostering saves lives. I mean, sometimes the only thing stopping us from helping uh, an abandoned cat is because we literally don't have space. We're full and we're overwhelmed. Uh, another way w you can help is by even spreading um, our social media accounts is, is can be of great help to us. You know, that's, uh, I mean, you might think it's a very simple thing, but it actually helps a lot. Even like a retweet, you know, getting the word, maybe someone would be interested in volunteering, fostering or adopting. Yes, of course, so that's very important. Those are some of the ways where how people can help. Yes, and uh, of course, uh, we would like you to share with us some of your proudest achievements in uh, Care Kuwait. Uh, I think what we're most proud of is uh, being able to rescue all of the animals that we've been able to rescue so far and yes. rehoming them, finding loving and forever homes to adopt them here in Kuwait and abroad. Uh, and also we were uh, recently acknowledged by an international animal rescue organization called SPCA, SPCAI. So that's something that, you know, um, you must we're have very proud good. of. Yes, yes, of course, of course, to be acknowledged and, and recognized like that. Uh, we're very grateful. Of course, uh, Sarah, it's a pleasure to have you with us on Hale Kuwait and uh, for this amazing interview. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Dear viewers, we had with us uh, Sara al from Care Kuwait Volunteer. Let's move on to our next report. It's about epidemiology. Let's have a look at it. Stay tuned. <laughs> 